everybody. Today we're going to be doing a very colorful and romantic makeup. So let's get started. We're going to be using the Alice in Wonderland palette from Urban Decay. And the first color is going to be a light green color. Now I just want to say that if you don't have this palette, you can use similar colors that you have available. Okay, So don't worry, you don't have to use the same products that I'm showing you. Next, we're going to be using a blue eyeshadow. We're going to be applying this uh, next to the green eyeshadow that we used before. The third color is going to be a slightly deeper uh, blue color. This is going to be our third color. We're going to be applying it uh, next to the uh, blue color, just like that. Because we want to have like a beautiful um, effect between the light to the dark color. So now we're going to skip the outer corner and we're going to be uh, adding some color at the crease area. As you can see, I decided to use kind of a rosy burgundy color in that area just to have a little bit more of depth and definition. Just like that. When you're satisfied with your crease, you can move on and apply your um, darker color at the outer corner. Now pay attention to the way I'm grabbing the brush. I'm just applying the color from the outer corner to the in, uh, inner uh, part of the eye, just like that. Now we're going to blend away any excess eyeshadow and also the blending process is going to help us to mix all the colors together and get a beautiful result. Now we're going to be using a green, a uh, very light green color just uh, to have a different shade between the blue and the green color at the inner corner. I'm going to finish the outer corner just applying a little bit of the purple eyeshadow and also I'm going to bring this into the crease area but uh, remember that you need to keep this only at the outer corner. Don't bring it all the way inward. Now it's time to highlight that it's a very important step because every time the light hits your eyes, your face, if you have like a good um, highlighter, uh, your eyes are going to look very pretty, open and very, very well done. <laughs> so make sure to apply an eyeshadow that is similar than your skin color to highlight the brow bone. Next, as you can see, I'm just lining my eyes. Um, I'm not going to be doing any tail or anything at the outer corner. I just want to keep this simple. I decided to use liquid liner in black, but if you want, you can use any um, liner that you want. It can be a creamy liner, pencil, whatever you find easy to use. After that, I'm going to be applying a pair of falsies. Uh, I don't remember the name of these faux lashes, but I don't remember. You can use a dramatic pair or even a natural pair of lashes if you want. If you're not going to be using lashes, just remember to use to apply two or three coats of mascara just to have like a um, heavy uh, lashes to complement the look. Perfect. Now we're going to move on to the lower part of the eyes. As you can see, I'm lining the lower lash line with a black pencil. I'm not making this uh, line very strong. You only want to have like a little bit of color in that area. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect because as you can see, we're going to be applying a little bit of eyeshadow on top of that just to seal it and to make sure that it's not going to move. After that, I'm just going to apply more color at the waterline with this beautiful pencil from Urban Decay that it's in a beautiful kind of electric blue color that I really like. If you want, you can apply only black um, eyeliner and the waterline, but I just find that it looks pretty if you use a colored pencil. Finish with mascara on the upper and lower lashes. And after applying your foundation and concealers, make sure to contour your cheekbones with a bronzing powder. As you can see, I'm using the Stila Sun Compact that I really love because it's very subtle and I love the color. I'm going to uh, apply on my cheeks a very pinky uh, color just to complement um, the look in, on my eyes. 
and also I'm going to apply this uh, shimmer on the highest points of my cheekbones just to have a little bit of um, shimmer on that area because it's gonna look really pretty and uh, as you can see it's very easy to apply you only need to use your fingers um, if you want you can use a brush but with your fingers I think it's gonna look much natural much better now for the lips we're gonna be using a very pale uh, pinky lip uh, lipstick this one's called pink in the afternoon it's from Revlon and it's very pretty so basically that's it I hope you like it guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next tutorial. Bye bye.